whoever like tangled up in it. Are you holding her leg? Get your leg back, Pip. You want to get up now and start our Saturday? What do you want to do today? Okay, let's start our day. Hey guys! Oh my goodness, my voice is like always squeaking. I've learned through vlogging that uh, I sound like Marge Simpson half the time. <laughs> but uh, it's Saturday, I'm so excited. We have a very busy Saturday. I can't believe that there's only one more Saturday. Feather is saying hi if you couldn't see her. <laughs> I can't believe that there's only one more Saturday after this before Christmas. It's just so, Crazy. So we have a lot to do today. So I am just eating breakfast and then we're pretty much gonna head out the door. I'm eating a bagel with cream cheese and a couple of cuties. And then I have some dandelion root herbal tea here. And this is one of my favorite breakfast teas to drink because it gives you a lot of energy. I researched all of the benefits of dandelion root tea before. Uh, and I can't remember all of the benefits, but it definitely had a lot of benefits uh, with energy. And I think also one of the benefits was with uh, rheumatoid arthritis and diabetes. And it just had a whole bunch of health benefits. And I really noticed when I drink this tea, it doesn't have um, caffeine in it or, or anything, and it's an herbal tea. Uh, but I've noticed that when I drink this tea, especially with a lot of honey in it, uh, it definitely gives me like a boost of energy for the morning and gets me going. So I really love drinking this tea in the morning time. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast here and then we are going to go back to St. Nick's. Uh, this time Joe is gonna go with me. I was trying to think of a good gift to give friends and because uh, I don't want it to be too big, especially like if they don't get you a gift. I don't want them to feel guilty that they didn't get you a gift or anything like that. But uh, I appreciate my friends so, so, so much. They are such a huge blessing in my life and this is the perfect time of year to show them that you appreciate them. So I wanted to do something special um, and we were doing our tree this year, uh, decorating our tree. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. I love the way that that video came out of us decorating the tree and answering questions together. Uh, so one of the ornaments is from my friend and my heart just melted when I pulled it out um, and it just made me think of her. Every time I see it on the tree, I think of her and how much I appreciate her. Uh, so I thought, you know what? That's kind of like the perfect little gift to give to our friend. So we are going back to St. Nick's. Joe wants to pick up another ornament for his mom. And then I have to go to Target and the mall to start my Christmas shopping. I haven't even started yet. Joe and I aren't doing uh, Christmas presents this year for each other. We didn't do it last year and I just loved it. Like, I thought that it would be hard to wake up Christmas morning and not have Christmas presents but um, we're so blessed we don't need anything under the tree what else do we have going on today I have to do my Christmas cards we have to go to the post office we have a lot going on today so I'm gonna eat my breakfast because it's all getting cold so in my last Saturday vlog I showed you guys this little Christmas mousse that I got and I still love her every time I see her but little miss feather right there off F yeah she likes to eat the mousse. I get. I think she's a little jealous uh, because I see her eating it all of the time and I've actually taken a couple clips of it that I will enter right here. Feather? Why is the moose on the ground, Feather? Why is the moose on the ground? The moose never did anything to you, Fab. It never did anything. Feather? What are you doing, Feather? Why is the moose on the floor again? Yeah, you're such a brat. <laughs> no more <laughs> No more eating the moose, Feb. You need to make up with the moose, okay? Luckily, for the amount of times that I've seen her eating this moose, uh, the only thing that I see damaged on it is this little eye. It's kind of like loose. But other than that, live to fight another day. Live to fight another day. This is where the doggies go when we're gone because that one right there gets into trouble when we're gone. So now they all have to be in here, huh? That's not fair, huh, Mahi? But it's a pretty good sized laundry room. They're, they have their food, which we always feed them in here, so I didn't have to move that in here. And then I just moved their dog bed in here and give them some toys and they're good to go. 
because if I left Feather out while we were gone, the moose would be halfway through digestion by the time we get back. Bye guys. The first Noel the angel did say was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they Let's go outside, let's go. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> so crazy, you didn't even look for coyotes. So we just got home uh, on the way home from St. Nick's. We went to Lush, uh, well I went to Lush. Oh, is that daddy's baby? Then daddy's baby, Mahi? Yeah, I know. You just, okay, well. You both should be embarrassed, huh? You both should be embarrassed. Yeah, oh my goodness. Anywho, I went into Lush. My husband dropped me off. He made circles because there was just absolutely nowhere to park. So one of my favorite things to do during falling over the month of December is to take bubble baths. Uh, especially when you go to Lush and you get like a bubble bath that just smells like Christmas. They're just a whole lot of fun inside of a tub. So uh, I will show you guys what I got real quick. I wanted to get the melting snowman, which smells like very nutmeggy and spicy. Um, but they didn't have it. So I got this little angel. Um, it is a very sparkly angel and you put this inside of your bath. So this is a bubble bath. So you put this in there and it just gives you a ton of bubbles and it is also very moisturizing and stuff. They do leave my skin feeling super soft afterwards and I also just love how much bubbles they provide. Not all of them are uh, bubble baths. So like this guy is the Christmas Santa Claus one and I don't remember if he uh, is a bubble bath. I think he's more of a bath fizz so you put him in there and all sorts of stuff comes out of him and it's like really fun to watch. Ah, oh, it smells so good. And this is uh, a bubble bath as well. It smells like nutmeg and cinnamon which is the smell that I was going for because I wanted the melted snowman but they didn't have it so this is like the next best thing. And you like chop this in half if you were to put this inside of your bathtub you would just have like a crazy amount of bubbles. So uh, I can chop this in half, so this will probably be like two or three uh, bubble baths, and it just provides like the yummiest smelling bubble bath. Uh, it gives a lot of bubbles, and it makes your skin really soft. Ah, 
So that is what I'm gonna be doing tonight and I will show you guys when I do that. My hands are just like completely <laughs> glittery. Uh, so yeah, we did not get done everything that we needed to get done uh, because after lunch, my husband and I got that thing that you dread, that feeling in the back of your throat and we both like got headaches and we were both really, really tired. So in a nutshell, we're getting sick. So we didn't make it to the post office and I didn't make it to Target. He just kept saying that he wanted to just go home and watch a movie and so I felt bad being like, oh, I need to go to Target. So I will do that Monday and we'll go to the post office Monday. So I am going to do the Christmas cards wherever those are because I'm not sending out a lot of Christmas cards this year. Usually we do the whole like Christmas picture where we like take a picture of us and then we make a Christmas card out of it. Um, and we just didn't get around to doing that this year. So I thought that I wasn't gonna do a Christmas card because of it. But uh, there's just a few people that I really wanna send a card to. Um, so I thought I'll just get a normal Christmas card and do it that way. So I have the Christmas cards all done. Uh, we're just sending out like 10 to 20 of them this year. Typically we do like 50 of them, but uh, I just <laughs> didn't get around to it this year. So now that that's done, I am gonna go take a bubble bath. So I just took a bath and now I have my jammies on. Uh, it was such a good bath. It was like just what I needed. It was actually the first time I've ever taken a bath in that bathtub and I've never taken a bath in like a triangle bathtub and let me tell you, that's like life changing. I was like moving all around like a kid in a candy store. But I realized that I forgot to show you guys the ornaments that I got at St. Nick's. One of these is for someone that I'm pretty sure is probably watching right now, so I can't show that one. And I think that's this one. Yep. So I got this one for my friend Linda, and it's um, a little branch wreath, and it has a red bird in there, is that like a robin? I don't know, but I like that the bird is kind of like free, so it moves around and then it has like a burlap bow on it and I just thought that that was super pretty, so I got that for her. I got this one for my friend Betsy and it's a little deer inside of a forest and it's, um, the stuff around is sparkly and it has some um, glittery eggs there on the top and I thought that this was just super cute. Uh, they're very like outdoorsy people. They love to go camping and hunting and things like that. So I thought that was like right up their alley. And then I got this little guy for my friend Elizabeth. See him into that. Santa Claus riding a reindeer. And I think that the reindeer is just so cute. Uh, his little face just is adorable. And then they had a beautiful nativity scene in there and we actually don't have a nativity scene. The closest thing that we have to a nativity scene is this guy over here. And my dad got us uh, this a few Christmases ago and I really, really love it. But we don't have like a full blown, you know, nativity scene with like all the different pieces and things like that. And I've been wanting to get one for years. They're pretty expensive. I'm sure you've heard before, but I love the color white. <laughs> it's just like my favorite color of all time. So there was a nativity scene that was like mostly white and I just absolutely loved it. So I showed my husband 
And before I know it, it's there waiting for us at the cash register. So that was a nice little surprise and I'm grateful that he did that. So I'm excited to put that out. Uh, I will show you guys that in my next vlog because I'm not putting it out tonight. Uh, way too tired for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope that you guys all had a great Saturday. Thanks for coming along with me on my Saturday. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.